what's happening troops so the dust has settled for san diego comic-con and let, let's just take a wee minute to talk about marvel revealing the next gazillion years worth of movies well not quite but phase five and six pretty much all confirmed we're in the multiverse saga and there is so much info to digest. We're going to take a look at a couple of trailers. We're going to take a look at the timeline for the movies. Just so much stuff to talk about. So we're going to try and cram that onto one video. So I'm going to keep this intro short and we're going to take a look at it right now. Right, so here we go. Time to dive into some trailers. We're going to start off with Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever. Absolutely nailed the song choice. Was everybody's mourning the the big loss? Good friends we are, and good friends we've lost along the way. In this great future, you can't forget your past. So dry your tears and We see the the villain of the story, basically Marvel's uh, Aquaman. Powerful wee speech there. And then Ironheart, little teaser. Love this shot. There, there's the teaser. Who's going to be in the suit? Shall we know? I stared at this image so much, just trying to see if I could suss out male, female. I would love it to be Killmonger. I really would, but I'm not sure. It's probably going to be his sister. But I know um, there was a bit of merch released that showed you potentially what Einhart's suit's going to look like. So that's going to be another, another interesting one. But epic trailer. Um gonna be gonna be a good film is it it's gonna be interesting to see what to do with uh, who takes over the mantle coming november day ain't far away so uh, let's check out our next little trailer now the first trailer was not well received it was kind of on par with sonic the hedgehog with the cgi like drama of what the hell is this and myself was a bit critical but new trailer touch up the cgi we go a wee bit more a uh, kind of feel for the story and i feel like they did a lot better with uh, the second trailer for she hulk so i'm feeling a little bit more optimistic with this one now <laughs> it's a great way to wake up control no overwhelming feelings of rage no a normal amount of rage you do revert back to gen 4 when you sleep was the air horn really necessary for comedy absolutely this is a multi-year journey you're about to embark big big on. big improvement big improvement visually yes. huh. yeah who's your best friend nikki <clears throat> spandex <laughs> spandex is your best friend being a hulk asks for balance Doing some some peaceful yoga. You have so much more to learn. Yes! So I'm clearly nailing it at all these things. Oh, there it is, the big clap, the big sonic clap. If you want to go back to your life as a lawyer, I, I respect that. He doesn't mean that. And the fourth wall? We're uh, breaching the fourth wall. A nice, nice wee touch. More and more eccentric superhumans are coming out of the woodwork. 
going to launch a division for them. And I want the She-Hulk to be the face of it. Jennifer Waters. There it is. Namaste. Formination. I have a serious conflict of interest. This man tried to kill my cousin, Bruce. Yeah, that's quite all right. Um. <laughs> yeah, whatever. People only care because I'm representing Emil Blonsky. I think they care because they're like, hey, that girl's green. Jen, do your thing. God, I really like this outfit. I'm not proud of this. Miss Walters. Like Wong's idiots. Power. Our universe is on the edge of a precipice. I am a lawyer. We do things. We have seen a Wong and abomination book together. No, the book of American <laughs> uh, laws. So that that seed's been planted like a little back in a Shang Chi. Let's do this. You know that friend you had in high school who was way cooler than you were, attractive, got all the attention from everyone. Hello. Mm -hmm. I think I'm jealous. Is that what I'm feeling? <laughs> there goes the middle finger of the blur Ute. So big improvement on this one. Big improvement. I'm feeling a wee bit more looking forward to it. And here's the big one. Here's the big one. We need, uh, we need to touch back on that. The uh, very comic book accurate Daredevil, one of his earlier costumes with the, with the red and yellow. Pretty sweet. That was a nice unexpected little little twist. I was like, oh. So that's going to be uh, pretty sweet. Also, when we look in the timeline, he's getting his own own uh, show coming back as well. But uh, that was pretty sweet. So I uh, She-Hulk feeling... Feeling a bit more optimistic with this one, so fingers crossed that it's it's going to deliver. Right, so here's your next one, little little short trailer, little wee one, very funny looking thing that is I am Groot. My wife loves Groot, specifically baby Groot. She's got a baby Groot in the dashboard of the car and a baby Groot big massive frame picture on the uh, staircase next to my Rick and Morty pictures. This just looks fun. Something a bit silly, a bit fun. Short episodes. <laughs> Food! I think they're going to do another five shorts or doing the line somewhere. I'm sure I read that. I'll do like five, then I'll be splitting in another five down the road. Sorry, something, something just a wee bit silly, a bit fun. Yeah, I think that's 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 just going to be a, a, a cool wee thing to watch. Easy payday for Vin Diesel as well, isn't it? So right, that's it for the, the kind of trailers we go at Comic-Con. So we'll take a wee look at this timeline, upcoming projects we've got. Right, so here we have it. Phase 5 Slate. So we've got the new Ant-Man, Feb 17th. Um, I think Kang's making an appearance in this. Obviously, we're going to get different variations and different versions of Kang. He's the main, the main big bad. It's going to be interesting to see kind of what takes we get on him uh, if you watch the Loki finale we're well aware of what's going to be happening with all that and different timelines etc um, I saw and I think um, Modok as well is going to feature this which I think will be pretty sweet and then we've got Secret Invasion that's going to be the TV show with Samuel Jackson uh, Spring 23 and then we've got Guardians 3 mega for that always been a big fan of Guardians that's May 5th and then we've got Echo, which we'll see a little bit more Daredevil. We'll see some Kingpin, I believe. Obviously, it's kind of branching off of some of the storyline that we got in Hawkeye. I'm quite looking forward to Echo, actually. I think that could be a, a little bit of a, a sleeper hit that might surprise a few people. Season 2 of Loki, I can't wait. Absolutely loved Season 1. One of my top shows so far. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where we go with that and how much that will kind of play in with the whole like multiverse stuff and all that because obviously that played a huge part in, in things that are unraveling now and then July 28th we've got the Marvels obviously Miss Marvel finale kind of 
sprinkled the, the seeds for, for that future one coming in July 28th. Then one I can't wait for Blade November 3rd. Really excited to see what they was. Loved Blade 1 and 2 or Great 3. Trinity, not so much, but Blade's such a favourite character. Even the old Spider-Man cartoon in the 90s, eh, when Blade was in that, I absolutely just love Blade. So it's going to be intriguing to see where they go with that, what age it's going to be, the tone, and then Fall 23, we've got Ironheart, like I say, we're seeing her featuring eh, Black Panther 2, so going to be interesting to see what how that goes. Then we've got Agatha, Winter 23 slash 24, um, obviously for uh, WandaVision. She was a really cool character, actually. And then Spring 24, we've got uh, Daredevil. Still to this day, Ur, all the films, all the shows, like the Netflix show now on Disney Plus, Daredevil, one of my favourites. That and Punisher, I think are top tier shows. Just the characters, the storyline, the performances, phenomenal. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do with Daredevil now that's under the uh, Disney Plus umbrella. Um, then we've got Captain America, May 3rd, 2024. Going to be Sam's first full movie in the uh, the new mantle of Captain America. And then Thunderbolts, July 26th. Could be another fun fun film. All the villains team up together again through Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Hawkeye. And we've seen kind of the groundwork Thunderbolts featured in that. So that's could be a cool little project as well then here we have phase six a little bit more secretive there is some unconfirmed project in the timeline for phase six so hopefully we'll see some x-men stuff that always gets teased again miss marvel finale and doctor strange and obviously we have fantastic four confirmed for november 8th 2024 Oh, that seems like it's just a million miles away already. And then our first big Avengers movie, May 2nd, 2025, even further away. But I know Faggy did say that they're not going to be dropping the Avenger films too much because there's so many projects now. There's crossovers between TV shows and films that the Avengers are going to be the just saved for the, the big, big, big occasions. So May 2nd, 2025 with the Kang Dynasty and that's probably going to wrap up that whole storyline and then the one everybody seems to be really excited for Secret Wars that's going to be November 2025 so that is it for the timeline so there's just so much stuff like say it's phase six we've still got little unconfirmed stuff so I mean I'm really hoping we're going to be mutant heavy in phase six that would be pretty sweet um so oh, there's just so much so much to go over so much to look forward to you're a Marvel fan it's just oh it's just absolute hype time trying to digest everything that we've got so that is it for the Marvel stuff at Comic-Con and I will catch you on the next video peace